Draft Express here at Impact in Las Vegas at ASM Pro Day with Bryce Johnson from North Carolina. Bryce, you just finished up a workout in front of a lot of scouts, executives. Uh, how do you think you performed? Uh, I did pretty well. I mean, just got to continue to get better. I mean, I know I have a lot of things I need to work on and stuff, but I think I did a pretty good job of showing guys what I can do outside of the, the North Carolina system and just being able to just go out there and just play with the, the best of the best. Is there anything you think you're able to show out here that maybe you weren't able to show at North Carolina? Oh, definitely. Just uh, being able to shoot the ball. I mean, I shot one three today, and I made that one, and we're playing through round three, and just being able to shoot the mid-range jumper, I mean, that was probably the biggest things that guys wanted to see me do is just be able to play and be able to shoot jumpers as well as uh, be able to just play hard all the time. So, I mean, that's just, the one, that's just a couple of things that they always looked at. What do you think is the biggest uh, factor in being able to stretch it out a little bit more? Because you've shown that you have nice touch, 15 feet in. Um, what's the next step for you in that regard? Uh, just being able to hit it consistently in a game, in game time situations. I mean, there's going to be a lot of pick and rolls in the NBA, and guys are a lot going towards the stretch four game. And just I have to be able to mold my game into that and not be a back to the back, uh, back to the basket type player that I was in North Carolina. So I mean, that's just the biggest thing. Just being able to step out there and eventually be able to shoot the three. Because I mean, a lot of guys are starting to shoot a lot more threes these days. What do you think are a couple of the main things you can bring to an NBA team right away? Uh, definitely rebounding, just going after it, going after it every day. And I mean, I'm a great teammate, unselfish, very unselfish player. I mean, I, didn't, I always put everybody else before I put myself sometimes. And I mean, they hurt me a few times in North Carolina. They would like shoot the ball and <laughs> overpass it. So, I mean, just just being a great teammate, man. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help a team win. I mean, I'm, I love to win. You know, obviously we didn't win the last game, but hey, I mean, we did some great things all year, and I, I just love, I love it. How do you think you fit into kind of the new style that we're seeing in the NBA with, you know, spread the floor, small ball? How do you think you fit in? Oh, I definitely fit in well. I mean, I'm, I can, I'm able to guard the three or, or the four at times. And you know, like I said, I, can, I really have a nice touch. And I just have to go out there and just prove it. Just go out there and shoot it consistently and knock it down. And I mean, I rebound the ball well. And I mean, it's got to add a little more bulk. But hey, I mean, I, I'll be able to fit in perfectly. What do you think are the main things uh, that you need to, you know, continue to improve upon to maximize your potential? Uh, just definitely my body. I mean, I, I can definitely score the ball when I need to. And just I need to get a little bit more weight to my body and be able to get a little stronger because, I mean, the guys in the NBA are a lot bigger. Those are grown men, so it's just, that's just the biggest thing I need to work on, just my body. Do you see yourself as strictly a, a four in the NBA? You think you play some five? Uh, just depends on what they do. I mean, whatever team wants to, wants to pick me and they, whatever program they want to put me through for weight-wise and just whatever weight I'm going to end up playing at, it's, that depends. I mean, I can play the five. I can play the four. It's just... I just need to, like I said, I just need a little more bulk in my body. You mentioned earlier, you know, playing consistently and playing hard all the time. Um, you've come a long way in that regard and throughout your career. And um, where do you think you are in terms of, you know, motor? And um, what can you do to kind of continue to work on that? Uh, I mean, my motor is extremely high. It's just, I mean, sometimes it's, it does look like I, I don't care sometimes. But, I mean, I, I do care. It's just... It's just my face sometimes, that's the only thing. But I mean, my motor is extremely high. It's just I want to go out there. Like I said, I love to win. So I mean, I'm trying to do whatever it takes to win. Is there anyone you like to watch or try and model your game after in the NBA today? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I love to watch guys like Serge, Serge Ibaka, uh, LaMarcus Aldridge. I mean, obviously, everybody likes to watch Blake because he dunks the ball a lot. But I mean, just and then watching the Spurs play in, in general is just it's fun to watch. And watching the Warriors play as well is, is also fun to watch. I mean, all the NBA games are, I mean, I watch it. It's just, I mean, the, the Spurs and the Warriors, are, they're, they're really fun to watch. I wish they wish they would have played in the, the Eastern Conference, not the Eastern, the Western Conference Finals, but hey, I mean, it's, like I said, I just, I just try to just watch everybody and just watch a lot of guys that are in my position and what position I think I might be when I get there and just try to learn and try to take little tips from their games while just watching them. Where do you see yourself five years down the road? Hopefully having a great career. I mean, just being able to stay in the NBA and just be able to help out any team that I can, no matter where it is. I mean, I know that, I know it's a business and guys get traded all the time. So I, mean, I just want to be able to, wherever I fit in, I'll be able to stay there and be able to fit in and help them out. Thanks, Bryce. Best of luck to you.